Let's take a look at how to move and do some other basic controls in Minecraft Education. Currently, I'm using a keyboard and mouse device with my left hand on the keyboard, my right hand is on the mouse, and I see the control tips on the screen. I can press the H key to show or hide those control tips if you don't see them. You can press it, and you'll see that pressing W allows us to go forward, the S key lets us walk back, A walks to the left, and D walks to the right. I can press the W key twice, and that lets me run. And now this allows us to physically move around in the game. And you can combine your W, A, S, and D keys to move in different diagonals and directions. So now let's use our mouse. Moving our mouse moves our head or our eyes and what we're looking at in Minecraft. So if I now combine the two, moving forward while moving my mouse, I can walk in a circle or pushing the different buttons. I can now navigate much more like I would be in real life. Now, the next option that we have on our list here is jump. So pressing the space bar lets us jump. I can walk forward and jump. I can walk back and jump. And so jumping is a really helpful way to navigate over different blocks in Minecraft. Since I'm in creative mode, I can press the spacebar twice and I can start to fly. So flying high to the sky, I can go up, I can use my keyboard to move in different directions. And just like walking and then running, I can press the W key twice and I can fly really fast. So let's return kind of back to where we were and I can see it in that menu where the shift key says fly down. So I can press the shift key and I kind of fly down or I could press the space bar to stop flying and I return back to the ground. Now that menu is dynamic, meaning that shift key, instead of saying fly down, I can press the shift key and I sneak or I get that crouching motion. So let's change our point of view and I can press the F5 key to see ourself as we are going to move. Pressing shift, we can see that we are crouching. Crouching is really helpful, one, to walk slowly, but also if you were to walk near an edge or a cliff and you're sneaking and holding the shift key, you won't fall. Now, if I were to walk forward now that I am not crouching or sneaking, I would step off that ledge and we just step down. So let's change our point of view back, press F5 again, and I return myself back up and let's bring ourselves up back up to this solid ground here. Now, the next item in our list is inventory. E for inventory, or think of it as your everything Tory. So pressing E opens up our inventory and I see all these different items. I'm gonna use my mouse to select these oak planks. I just clicked it and I come down to our hot bar, these empty squares at the bottom, and I click again and it just places blocks. I can scroll through and see all kinds of different blocks here, but I'm going to select this red concrete and I'm gonna click it again and click our hot bar space down here at the bottom and I just place those. Or I could hold down shift and as I select the blue concrete, it automatically drops it in. If I wanted to return a block into our inventory, I can just click and drag it back up wherever and it returns or if I wanted to press shift, it'll automatically return it as well. So I'm gonna return those red and blue concrete blocks. And if you need more spaces than your hotbar down here at the bottom, you can change your different views of seeing the inventory and your inventory here and your hotbar, or just seeing what you're carrying. So I can press the X key on inventory to close that or pressing the escape key will also close your inventory. And you'll notice in the hotbar, there's the numbers above those little squares, that hotbar, and pressing those numbers on your keyboard will let you cycle through the different options that you can place. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can scroll that and it'll also let you pick which one you have in your hand. So as I move my mouse around, that crosshair that's in the center of your screen, that's what you're focusing on. And you'll see that as you bring it closer to you, you'll see that there's a black outline on the ground. And you also then have some mouse tips on the right corner of your screen. If I click the left button on my mouse, I am going to mine. And if I right click, I'm going to place. So I can mine and craft. Minecraft, pretty cool. And if I select another block there, I can place that above it and even select other ones to the side. So 
placing blocks is a lot of fun and pretty easy to break and mine different blocks there. If at any time you were to press the escape key, you can pause, but a very common uh, button that a student or yourself might press is the F1 key. Instead of pressing the escape key, you might press F1 and that'll hide all the on-screen display. Just to return all of that back, press F1 and everything returns. So have fun as you mine and craft in Minecraft education. There's more to learn. Check out our Minecraft Teacher Academy courses and other learning opportunities at aka.ms forward slash mcgettrained.